All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Deanne Criswell. I'm a commissioner for New York City Emergency Management. I'll start with a quick weather update for everybody, and then I'll, I'll let Commissioner Grayson talk about the uh, activities of sanitation. So as you can see right now, the storm is starting to move into New York City. Uh, it is anticipated to come in a little bit earlier than we had talked about during the press conference yesterday. Um, again, you're starting to see some of the first snowflakes hit the southern part of the city right now. The majority, the heavy part of this snow is expected now to start closer to 6 p.m. and go all the way through midnight. Uh, we'll see some snow and sleet conditions that will continue from about midnight to 2 a.m. And then it'll turn back to an all snow event through the morning and continue with some light snow through the mid morning. So uh, roadways are going to be dangerous through the rush hour tonight. And so I encourage everybody, if you can leave, if you have to drive home, I would encourage you to start thinking about how to do that now. And the roadways will be um, dangerous in the morning rush hour as well. Uh, we are also expecting high winds with this event. Uh, we could have near blizzard-like conditions during the peak of the storm right before midnight. And so I encourage everybody to take precautions for that as well. And then the final thing that I'll talk about is uh, we are also expecting a little bit of coastal inundation with this. And so we'll see that in the same areas that we see our normal t uh, tidal flooding. One to two feet is expected in those areas of Red Hook and the other parts of the coastal areas that we see normal flooding. And so uh, be aware of that as well. Uh, I'll turn it over to Commissioner Grayson right now for an update on sanitation activities. Thank you, Commissioner Criswell. The Department of Sanitation has been in a snow alert in New York City since 2 p.m. today. We are in split shifts, working two 12-hour tours, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., with full field staff ordered in. We have over 2,000 plowed vehicles ready to be deployed when the snow is plowable, and 700 of those are salt spreaders that about an hour ago began pre-salting many roadways. In addition to that, we have used our brine fleet for this season and have, by this uh, press conference, completed over 450 miles of New York City roadways with liquid pretreat brine. We are preparing for the worst conditions. As Commissioner Criswell said, we are expecting heavy snowfall, possible sleet conditions with high winds throughout the overnight. The roadways will be treacherous. If you can start making your way home now, please do so. And also, please stay off the roads tonight. Heed public messaging. Our plows need a lot of space to do their job. The plowing of the New York City roadways in this event will be slow and methodical. With visibility low, our plow operators will be taking extra time looking out for pedestrians that are in the right of way, as well as being mindful of roadway dining. Roadway dining structures for outdoor di the outdoor dining program. If the structure is in the roadway, dining has been suspended as of 2 p.m. and will continue to be. We will update further once we know the status after the final snowfall amounts have and conditions warrant for tomorrow. Again, our message is to please stay off the roads. Please follow public messaging. We are out there. It will be slow tonight. Plowing in these kinds of conditions with the potential snowfall we will be facing is going to take its time. Please allow for that. The men and women of sanitation are dedicated. They are professionals, and they will do all they can to make every roadway passable. We need your help, so please take extra time. If you're an essential worker who must travel by road, plan for extra travel time. Take extra precaution as you navigate through the streets and give plenty of room for our plow operators. Public safety is tantamount to us. We will continue to do our best. And to the men and women of the department, now more than ever, we are first responders. We respond first to all winter weather events, and we need everyone to do their part. Thank you very much. I will turn it back over to Commissioner Criswell for further follow-up. A few other updates on the actions of the city. As I briefed yesterday, our test and trace sites closed at 2 p.m. today, and they will be closed um, until tomorrow when it's safe to reopen. Uh, we did just have an announcement come out of the mayor's office that uh, in-person schools will be, will be changed to remote learning tomorrow. Uh, so that has also been updated. I know that we had said we would update later today, but considering the conditions, we were able to make that decision earlier. 
Uh, our emergency operations center is active right now. Uh, we have multiple agencies in there. Our down tree task force is on standby because we do expect uh, trees to be damaged from this. Uh, Con Edison has activated their situation room in anticipation of some potential power outages. We also have a tow truck task force that has been stood up, and we have, I believe it was 54 different um, tow trucks available to be uh, in key areas around the city to support um, snow operations and the removal of vehicles as needed. Um, again, what I would encourage all New Yorkers to do is, again, heed the warnings that we're talking about. These roadway conditions are going to be dangerous. We have not seen snow like this since about 2016. Um, so it is going to be dangerous, and your safety is our priority. Please, please check on your neighbors and make sure that they're okay. Again, you've done such a great job throughout the COVID pandemic. Please continue to do that to make sure everybody is safe throughout this winter storm. Uh, with that, I will open it up for any questions. Question was, what are the challenges of roadway dining in our plowing operations? We've been training since the summer to understand where these structures are. We've done some outreach to make restaurant owners aware of what they can expect while we're plowing. And what the challenges are is the wake of snow that we push to the right-hand side. So our operators are going to go very slowly, very methodically, and do their best to control speed and the wake of snow as it pushed towards the plow. Those are the challenges. Any other questions? And the question was, uh, when I stated, let's get home now if you can, but what advice do we have for essential workers if you have to be on the road tonight? You know, if you can, take public transportation. I highly encourage you to take public transportation. If you have to drive, if you have to drive, use extreme caution. The roads are going to be very dangerous. If, it, if you're an essential worker, I would highly encourage you to try to leave now if you can, but if you have to stay in and drive during the, the peak of this event, Coordinate with your, your employer to make sure that it's safe for you to do so, and please use public transportation if you can. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, please be safe out there, stay warm, and we'll give you updates as the situation continues to progress through the evening.